theorems related to tangents and seconds. Theorems on tangent line. If a line is tangent to a circle, then it is perpendicular to the radius drawn to the point of tangency. Given the circle D, line AC is tangent to circle D at point B. Then, it is perpendicular to the radius DB. If a line is perpendicular to a radius of a circle at its end point that is on the circle, then the line is tangent to the circle. So the line EG is perpendicular to the radius FD at point F. Then it is tangent to circle D. If two segments from the exterior point are tangent to a circle, then the two segments are congruent. So we have the line segment HI and line segment JI. They have the same exterior point at point I. So the measure, let's say, of the line segment HI is 6 centimeters, then the measure of the line segment JI will also be equal to 6 cm since HI and JI are tangent to circle D, then this line segment HI is congruent to line segment JI. Theorems and angles formed by tangents, seconds, and chords. If a second and a tangent intersect at the point of tangent C, then the measure of each angle form is one half the measures of its intercepted arc. So the measure of angle K and O is equal to one half the measure of the arc K, L, N. For example, the measure of the arc KLN is 220 degrees. So the measure of the angle KNO will be one half of 220 degrees, and that is 110 degrees. And let's say the arc KN measures 140 degrees, so the angle KNM will be equal to one half the measure of the arc KN. So therefore, the measure of the angle K and M will be equal to 70 degrees. If two seconds intersect in the interior of a circle, then the measure of an angle form is one half the sum of the measures of the arcs intercepted by the angle and its vertical angle. So since we have intersection in the interior of the circle the measure of angle 1 will be equal to one half the measure of the arc AB plus the measure of the arc CD and the measure of angle 2 will be equal to one half the measure of one half the sum of the measure of the arc BC and arc AD for example, the arc AB measures 50 degrees and the arc DC measures 120 degrees. So to find the angle 1, it will be equal to 50 degrees plus 120 degrees will be equal to 170 degrees and one half of 170 degrees will be equal to 85 degrees. If two seconds intersect in a point in the exterior of a circle, then the measure of the angle form is one half the positive difference of the measures of the intercepted arcs. 
So, the point of intersection of the two given second is in the exterior of the circle. So, the measure of the angle CAD is equal to one half the measure of the difference of the arc CD and arc EB. For example, the arc CD measures 140 degrees and the arc EB measures 20 degrees. So, 140 degrees minus 20 degrees is equal to 120 degrees. And since 1 half, the 1 half of 120 degrees will be equal to 60 degrees. So, the measure of angles CAD is equal to 60 degrees. If two tangents intersect in a point in the exterior of a circle, then the measure of the angle form is one half the positive difference of the measures of the intercepted arcs. So still, the point of intersection of the two tangent lines is in the exterior of the given circle. So the measure of angle CDB is equal to one half the difference of the arc CAB and the arc BC. For example, the arc CAB measures 290 degrees and the arc BC measures 70 degrees. So 290 degrees minus 70 degrees is equal to 220 degrees and one half of 220 degrees will be equal to 110 degrees. So, the measure of angle CDB will be equal to 110 degrees. If a tangent and a second intersect in a point in the exterior of a circle, then the measure of the angle form is one half the positive difference of the measures of the intercepted arcs. So still, the point of intersection of the given tangent line and a second line is in the exterior of the given circle O. Then the measure of angle BAD is equal to 1 half the difference of the measure of BCD and the arc EB. For example, the measure of Arc BCD is 210 degrees and the measure of the arc EB is 50 degrees. So 210 degrees minus 50 degrees is equal to 160 degrees and one half of 160 degrees will be equal to 80 degrees. So the angle BAD will be equal to 80 degrees.